So I'm on this retreat with these women. See, there they are. And I had an epiphany this morning about ADHD. Growing up with ADHD, one of the things that happens is you're constantly interjecting into conversations. And people will say things like, why are you always talking about yourself? Or, oh gosh, she drives me crazy because she always ones up you or she knows everything that you're talking about or things like that. You hear this a lot with folks who have this where they are accused of always one upping and um, dominating conversations, interrupting, things like that. And what I realized is that everybody was talking is that every single comment each woman said, I had immediately a thought of something I wanted to contribute or say, or go, oh yeah, that happened to me. And you know what else happened? And I, I too had this experience, blah, blah, blah. Now, at this stage of the game, I've learned a social skill or two, and I've learned that uh, not to do that, to just be quiet and not interject, even though I want to share that information. So I force myself not to say anything and to listen. But then it dawned on me that that is an ADHD symptom because our mind is constantly thinking. And because of the inhibition difficulties that happen sometimes with ADHD and impulsivity, someone is more prone to just blur out what comes into their mind. And they're so stimulated by the conversation that your mind is just going, going, going and thinking and you have all this recall, you have all these ideas, all this creativity and you're hyperverbal. And so you just wanna chime in and tell everyone what, you know, how you relate or how you contribute, things like that. But for those who don't have ADHD, um, look how beautiful this is. <laughs> look at that. For those who don't have ADHD, they don't understand it. So then they perceive it through their lens, which means that, oh, this person is narcissistic or they are um, a drama queen or this all about them. They, they are selfish. Um, they don't know how to be with people, things like that. And this is why folks who struggle um, with this have what we call rejection sensitivity dysphoria is that because they've had so much negative feedback throughout their life, they become very sensitive to how people, what people think about them, if they like them, if they enjoy them. And so they really don't know, like, how do I make that magic happen? What do, who do I need to be? What do I need to say to get people to like me and want to be with me? And the ADHD folks will perceive it that they don't like them because there must be something wrong with them, but they're not realizing that they just need to be equipped with some social skills to uh, control their impulses and learn how other people think um, so that they can be more successful in social situations. So some of the social skills that um, are important to know is to wait to talk, you know, just listen to others and, and imagine that you have something to gain, something to benefit from and, and versus being the one that's giving to others with all this chatter, you have a lot to learn, right? So wait, pause, listen, and you don't always have to share what comes in your mind. You know, you just got a lot of really great ideas. And so um, that's a lot more to say uh, about that than I'm going to right here. But I wanted to share that with you. If you have ADHD and you've struggled with that or been accused of dominating or always talking about yourself or um, interrupting too much and you just get really excited when you're with people <laughs> and you just have like a fabulous brain of amazing creative ideas that are so wonderful and because you're so adventurous you go out and you do really exciting, unique and fun things. So of course you wanna share that with people. And when they say, oh, I've done a fun thing, you're like, yeah, well listen to this amazing fun thing. And you know how incredible it is for you. So you think that they're gonna think it's incredible too, but they don't. <laughs> they're like, they just start to go through their own stuff. And um, so I just wanna share that with you. And if you relate to this, please comment and share with me and so we can start a conversation about this. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say and what your experience with that has been. And let me show you this beautiful area. I'm in Montana, isn't that gorgeous? And see, I'm here on this hike talking to you, being all excited about my ideas and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
So I'm glad I have this outlet and then I can save all them. It's me talking all the time. <laughs> all right, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks, I'm Dr. Sean Horn. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Join me on Inspired Living Podcast. I'd love to have you um, with me and have a great day. Bye.